There we go. Red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, I have some new lights in this box right here and I am super excited because I called it. I, I, I literally told everyone, I'm like, they're gonna make a hexed version of this light anytime now. And they have. Let's go ahead and box them and let's see what's up with the Chave Wash FX Hex. Now in this box, I ordered these from uh, Canal Sound and Lighting. My boy Jeff over there hooked me up real quick with two of the Wash FX Hex. Oh, and you guys need to stay until the end of the video because I teamed up with my boy Jeff over at Canal Sound and Light to give one of these away to you guys. So if you guys want to learn how you guys can also win a Chave Wash FX Hex, stay tuned to the end of the video and I will tell you guys how you can enter to win. All right, Chave Wash FX Hex. There it is, there's one. There's two, and uh, we, we don't need that anymore. So let's go ahead and open one of these bad boys up real quick. If you guys know from my channel, I'm a big fan of the Chave Wash FX 2. I own eight of them. Rightfully so, I'm gonna pick up some Wash FX Hex. User manual, we have the light itself right here. It's the exact same size as the Wash FX 2. Uh, and we have an IEC power cable. Toss that to the side. Take this out right here. Yes, there we go. Says it right nice and bold on top, Wash FX Hex. And it feels like it's got a little more weight. I'm gonna have to go get one of my Wash FX 2s, but this definitely feels like it's got a little more weight to it. The bracket also looks bigger. I'm not entirely sure this is the same size. It might be a little bit bigger. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I haven't looked at any of the specs on it. I saw Wash FX and I saw they made it in Hex. And I said, I need two of these. Hit up my boy Jeff, I'm like, yo, get me two of these ASAP. I need these ASAP. So. Looks like we have, uh, yeah. Anyways, let me get some power and let, let, let's plug it in. Plug this in here, it's gonna be a first test right here. First test. Got power right underneath my table. There we go. Red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV. Awesome, we have our hex capabilities. Look at that. Okay, they are just as bright as they were before. The, yep, they're, they're just as bright as they were before. All right, so let's quickly go through a little walk around of the light. Let's see what all is involved in it. And then we will get into some testing and comparisons to the Wash FX2 itself and my personal opinions on what I'm gonna be using these for and uh, how you guys can use them too. Especially if you already have Wash FX2s, I don't think necessarily you need to get rid of them to buy these just now, depending on your usage. So let's go ahead and walk through the light. First off, on the front of the light here, if you're unfamiliar with the Wash FX series from Chave DJ, this right here is the third edition that they put out. They had the Wash FX 1, the Wash FX 2, and now they have the Wash FX Hex. So, similar to the other Wash FXs, we have 18 individual diodes on the front of this light, making it extremely bright. And what's nice is they are tilted. So, each one of these panels of three is in a different angle, a different orientation to help spread spread that coverage of the light across the room. Actually, we're looking at literally almost a 180 by 180 degree coverage pattern. It's somewhere like 100 by 180 or something like that, or 150. You get the idea. This thing by itself, you put one of these in the corner of the room or one in each corner of the room, it's gonna light the whole entire room up. I have no problem using two of the Wash FX 2s to light up a whole entire gymnasium for a event. And normally I put them on 30% brightness because they're absolutely ridiculously bright. So that is the front of the light. We have an IR sensor up here, right here that is not included. We don't have a remote included with the lights, but we do have an IR sensor up front. On top of the light, this is actually kind of new. They put the Wash FX Hex logo right here on the top. You don't find that on the Wash FX 2s. We have a mount right here that you can attach an O clamp to. Very handy. And you lock it down with the two little hand screws on the side to lock it into place so that you can hang it in any orientation that you want. On either side of the light, you will find a ginormous fan that keeps these 18 diodes nice and cool one on either side on the bottom you will not find anything and then and then on the back is where we will find all of the information that we really need so first up up here we have the microphone for sound active mode if you're going to use that we have a variety of different lights here that operate with the menu function here with our menu buttons traditional style setup for a normal dj light with the menu options right here we have a safety loop right here to put a safety clamp on this if you're going to be flying this on trussing and then down below we have dmx in dmx 
CMX out, IEC in, and Edison power out. One of my favorite features of all Shave DJ lights is they give you a legit Edison out power makes it super nice to connect other lights, to link other lights, to link all sorts of things, not speakers. You definitely don't want to plug your speaker into this. Don't do that. Please don't. This is not designed to power anything with a lot of power. It's just there to link another light beside it. Say you want to plug in two wash FX 2s in here, out there. Really simple, really nice. But that right there is the overview of the whole entire light. Obviously the front, we already talked about it. These are all hex lights. So they have red, green, blue, amber, white, and UV. All six diodes, the best light you can ever have. Have. And I'm going to say right now, this right here is by far going to be my number one pick for the best beginner DJ light out there. All right, so with both of the Wash FX Hex Unbox, I think we need to go downstairs and compare it to its younger brother, and that is the Wash FX 2. Now, like I said from the beginning, these are Hex, so they have all of the diodes you're ever going to need. The Wash FX 2s feature a red, green, blue, and a UV. So these have the additional white and amber so that you can make any color of white in the world. Uh, you can create a kind of cool white with combining red, green, and blue on the Wash FX2, but these are going to allow you to do that pure white, that amber, it's going to let you make any variant of white that you ever want, which if you do a lot of weddings is probably something you're going to want to consider. So let's go ahead and go compare them to the Wash FX2 down in the garage right now. So down here in the garage, can you tell which one is the Wash FX Hex? Well, it's this one right here. It's the one with the longer clamp on it. So looking at both the Wash FX 2 and the Wash FX Hex side by side, the Wash FX Hex is a little bit bigger. So I'm not entirely sure how well you guys can see it. I'm going to try and get you guys some clips. Joe will overlay them here in a second. Pipe wise, if you could tell, it's about maybe a quarter of an inch taller when you're talking from face to back. It is a little bit taller. We also are a little bit wider. So when we look at the width itself, we're also about a quarter of an inch to half an inch wider as well. This is something to consider because the Wash FX2 was a very tight fit for me in the F4 bag that I bought. So I'll be interested to see if the Wash FX Hex will also fit in those bags and we will go through that here in a bit. But just looking at the size comparison of both of these, the Wash FX2 is a little bit smaller in regards to its dimensions than the Wash FX Hex. They're about the same, they're literally the same height. Uh, we're just a little bit wider and a little bit deeper on the Wash FX Hex over here. We also have a noticeably taller mounting clamp than the Wash FX2. It's about twice the height, so you have a longer clamp to clamp this to, which is probably really nice if you're going to use this the way I do, and you mount this on top of speakers like this. It's going to get it nice up and high above the speaker. That's something awesome. Ports and menus on the back of the light are exactly the same. You have the same DMX in and out, the same IEC in, the same Edison power out, literally the same menu functions. You just have more DMX channels on the Wash FX Hex because it is a Hex fixture versus a red, green, blue UV fixture. So now that we've looked at the Wash FX Hex, we've looked at all that it has to function. It's basically the Wash FX 2 that we have here, but it's now Hex, which is something that I predicted Shave would do down the future. They just had to draw out the Wash FX 2 so that they could sell all the ones that they already had ordered and made from their factories in China. They had to get them all made and they had to sell them all, etc. before they could eventually evolve the Hex. We all knew Hex was coming in the Wash FX 2 and it's amazing to see that it's finally here and this is by far a game changer and by far like i've said already this is now going to be my new favorite light i love the wash fx 2s i love the wash fx series in general it's just a really really inexpensive super bright light that you can use for your events and you can dmx them they're very versatile they have super wide coverage pattern i've talked enough about these let's go ahead Let's turn these on. Let's see how bright the Wash FX2 is and how bright the Wash FX Hex is, the brand new one in comparison. And we're gonna do it in the garage here first, but I'm also gonna open up the garage and we're gonna shoot it out on my apartments and see how bright it is to light up an apartment. So let's go ahead in the garage and let's turn them on. So I have both of the lights right here, the Wash FX Hex and the Wash FX2 set up at the back of my garage. This is a 20 foot long garage. So we're probably, because I have the pipe and drape pulled out a little bit and we also got these not back against the garage, we're probably looking at about a 15 foot throw that we're gonna be shooting these onto the pipe and drape there. I'm gonna leave the lights on in the garage purely because these lights are plenty bright enough to overpower the lights that are in here currently and it'll give us a better comparison. And it will also truly show you guys how bright these lights really are. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on the red on the Wash FX2 first. 
So that is the red from the Wash FX2. And now this is the red on the Wash FX Hex. So let's just quickly go through all the colors on the Wash FX Hex and then we'll go back to the Wash FX2. And I'll give you guys my personal opinion as well as we go along through this, but you guys can see it on screen. This is the Wash FX Hex. This is red, this is green, this is blue, amber. And then we have some variety of different colors here at the end to make different variations, like there is a warm white combining white and amber, something you can't do on the Wash FX2 to my right. There's a bunch of different colors, really cool combinations. I think you have like 60 something different pre-made colors on the Wash FX Hex. 63 different pre-made colors. This is max brightness white. So going back to our Wash FX2, this is going to be our red. We have our green as well, our blue. And then we go into our teals because we don't have amber white or that so we have just our variety of different colors so initial opinions looking at the wash fx hex versus the wash fx 2 it looks like we are very similar in terms of brightness and in terms of output which is something i was really curious to see being that we went to a hex diode in the wash fx hex i was very curious to see if they would keep the same amount of output power for like the red as we see in the Wash FX2 because you have more individual colors spread around one diode. So sometimes the power diminishes. But looking here in the garage, the power looks similar. So there is no reason to not go ahead and buy Wash FX hexes if you're in the market. But anyways, let's try out something different and let's go shoot them outside and see what we can see. So this right here is uh, one of the walls on my apartment complex. We are easily uh, quite a ways away from that right now. And uh, I'm just gonna pull the Wash FX2 out right now and show you guys how bright this light actually is. As you guys can see, I mean, the wash fx is right here. We're lighting up, um, we have a little bit of a mist going right now, but we're lighting up literally everything in the vicinity. That whole entire side of the apartment is lit up with the wash fx 2. This is the wash fx 2. Now let me grab the hex and see what it can do. And there we go, there is the hex and a uh, very similar output. Uh, while I have the hex here, I wanted to show you guys some other colors. There is green. Green is always a brighter LED for some reason. Blue, amber, white, UV, variety of different colors. Very bright light, if you guys can't tell. This light is extremely bright. And it's one reason why I love the Wash FX series. So yeah, basically the Wash FX Hex is the Wash FX 2 Bud Hex, which is exactly what they advertised. And if you guys were curious as to what these lights look like when you're looking at them head on, well, here you go. And as you guys can tell, you really can't distinguish which one of these is the Wash FX Hex. And I'll tell you, it's actually the one on the left right here. So really cool. They literally looked identical from the front. So if you're using both of these at the same event, say you have the, you need a lot of these to light up a whole entire room and you're not needing the white or UV function, you can definitely use Wash FX 2s with Wash FX Hex which is probably something I'm planning to do in the future. Really cool to see. And this is the brand new Wash FX Hex from Shave DJ. I am in no means sponsored by them at all. I love the Wash FX 2s and like I said, I saw that the Wash FX Hex came out. Actually, one of you guys actually messaged me because like Shave didn't promote this at all and I can't believe it because I guarantee it's their best selling light. The Wash FX 2 was at least. This light's insane. So one of you guys messaged me and I literally contacted my boy Jeff and said, yo, get me two of these ASAP. I need this light. These lights are awesome. I need to film a video so you guys know about them because these lights are awesome. I can't say that enough, but let's go upstairs. I want to wrap up kind of my conclusions and my opinions on the Wash FX Hex, what you guys can use it for. And if you guys already have Wash FX 2s, do you need to upgrade? Let's talk about that. So in a little bit of a wrap up here, I've already expressed my opinion more times than not on the brand new Wash FX Hex. I love it. I love the original Wash FX, I love the Wash FX 2s, I have eight of those, and now I have two of the Wash FX hexes. Now, if you are in the market for a new light and you were looking for Wash FXs or you like this style, you've seen kind of what I showed you where basically two of these can light up a whole gym, absolutely go out and buy yourself the new Wash FX hexes. Don't bother with the Wash FX 2s. But if you're in the situation where you already own the Wash FX 2s, like myself, I own eight of these and all of my guys literally use these at a lot of our weddings because they're just really easy to throw up two of them and light up a whole entire dance floor with no hassle. You don't need to go out and buy the Wash FX hexes. Let me explain. If you are using your Wash FX 2s in the current situation where basically you put them on top of your speakers and you use them to light up the dance floor. You don't necessarily use them during the actual wedding themselves. They're mostly there to be your 
dance floor party lighting. They turn on later on the evening, they bounce around to the music, maybe you're DMXing, maybe you're doing them on Sound Active. They're just there to create that party atmosphere for people to get down, have some fun at the wedding that you are doing. That is perfectly fine and there is no real reason at all to jump up to the Wash FX hexes because what in reality you're getting with the Wash FX hex is you're adding amber and pure white and in reality for party lighting you don't really need amber or pure white especially maybe even at a school dance like we use these at school dances all the time we'll use two of them to light up a whole entire gymnasium we don't need wash effects hexes because nine times out of ten we're just using them to wash the crowd in different colors we don't really need amber or pure white unless we're going for a theme which gets me to the reason why you might want to consider getting some wash effects hexes. The wash effects hex is a great supplement to the wash effects too. Like we saw, basically the red, green, blue, and the UV function of the wash effects hex is identical to the wash effects too. So you can use these together at events. But where the wash effects hex really shines is giving you that ability if a couple came to you and they wanted to create a theme, they wanted to go for some sort of ambience, with the room and say they wanted to create that candlelight feel in a venue and the venue has fluorescent lighting. What the wash effects hex is going to allow you to do is tell that couple that hey we can shut off all the venue lights, all those ugly fluorescents and I can come in with four of these wash effects hexes and I can put them in each corner of the room and I can turn them to amber or maybe combine the amber with the pure white to create that optimal color of white that you want to see in your room. I can light it up with a nice even color of amber, a nice candlelight feel for your wet. That is really the only particular instance where you're going to need these. These are for design lighting. This is for theme lighting. If you're into that sort of thing, wash effects hexes are a great way to go. And actually just in general, if you're into doing themes and creating themes with events, the wash effects, the, the wash effects 2, the wash effects hexes are amazing. If you guys have seen what I did out at Friends Farm with literally, I think five, we used five of these Wash Effects 2s to light up all the trees on the property in green and purple for the Beetlejuice theme Halloween wedding. These things are awesome because you can just wash out a whole entire area of a room, trees, etc. They're awesome and they really serve their function. And the Wash FX Hex falls in the line of basically allowing you to create those designs, to create those themes with the added amber and the pure white diodes. And it allows you to create any variants of white that you could ever possibly want, which is nice for say, maybe the first dance, doing an actual clean, nice, warm white instead of a blinding, like a piercing, super bright white that the red, green, and blue together make. I know photographers have already told me before and uh, it's why I don't really turn these on for first dances anymore if these are the lights I'm using because the white that these uh, that these create when you do red, green, and blue is not the best white for filming video and it's also not the best white for uh, literally taking pictures. So there's a little tidbit for you guys though. If you guys are using the Wash FX 2s, I would highly recommend leaving them off or at least bouncing them off the ceiling. Um, I, I have many videos on how to use lighting. Don't just shine these straight down at the floor. It's a bad idea. Shoot them up at the ceiling, let them bounce off the things, do indirect lighting. Little pro tip, go check out my whole entire lighting series. I have a whole literally playlist of multiple videos going through how to use lighting, what lighting types there are, wash lighting like the Wash FX 2s, how to use them, and how to make them look clean and professional. So go check that out. There's also a full tutorial on how to DMX lights if you're interested in that. But I hope that gives you a little bit of a sense of the brand new Wash FX Hex. It is by far uh, my favorite new light that is on the market if you are a beginner DJ and you're in the market for a DJ light look into this it's 250 bucks and it'll light up a whole entire gymnasium by itself if you add two it's going to blind a whole entire gymnasium so check these out they're awesome if you're in the market get one of these if you already have your wash fix twos maybe just pick up a couple so that way you have the ability to do the amber and the white um, that's all I did I only need two of these I don't plan on buying any more unless I really have an event where I need to do a lot of these which I can't really think of one that I've ever had to so like I said at the beginning of the video we're giving one of these away so this is how you need to enter to win so if you just click the head to this point to figure out how to win how dare you you should go back and watch the video to see if these things are any good which are, they are really good anyway obviously we're partnering with my good friends over at canal sound and light for this giveaway so to enter there are 
four simple steps that you need to do. One, you need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel right here. Subscribe. Click the subscribe button down below. You need to be subscribed to Canal Sound and Lights YouTube channel. I will link them in the description down below. And you need to be following both myself and Canal Sound and Light on Instagram. And one fifth step, and this is the most important step because this is how I'm gonna be able to contact you. Linked after all of those social medias, there is a Google form. I need you to fill out that form so that way I have your information to contact you to win. If you saw my DJ Life clothing brand, if you guys are interested, go check it out, shopdjlife.com. We did a whole entire giveaway where where basically every $5 you spent entered you to win a Pioneer 1000 SRT. I just posted a video going through and literally calling the winner. We're gonna do the same sort of thing for this. So I'm gonna be basically be calling one of you lucky people that follows all four of those sites, follows me on YouTube, Now Sound Light, and both of us on Instagram. Fill out the form, that way I have your phone numbers, that way I can call one of you guys, and I can congratulate you guys on winning one of the Chave Wash FX hexes, the brand new Wash FX hexes. So, anyways, guys, that's how you enter to win. Follow me on Instagram, follow Canal Sound Live on Instagram, subscribe to both of our YouTube channels, and fill out the Google form in the description down below. Click on all that stuff, and it'll get you entered to win one of the Wash FX hexes. But, anyways, guys, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Bonus points, a 100% guarantee, a higher chance of winning if you like this video and you leave a comment down below. Uh, what do you guys think of these lights? How many of you guys are using the Wash FX 2s? How many of you guys are using the original Wash FXs? And how many of you guys already have the Wash FX hexes? Anybody? Anybody? Let me know. Yeah, like always, guys. Keep them record spinning, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.